Use Me by Bill Withers is a very simple song as far as the chord structure is concerned. It's really just two chord. An E minor 7 and an A major 7. The way that you're going to make those two fingerings is that you'll put uh, your first finger on the 5th string 7th fret. You'll put your second finger on the 3rd string 7th fret. And then Bill Withers puts his ring finger on the second string eighth fret, though sometimes I use my second finger there, I mean my pinky finger there. And you'll strum across strings six through one, and then everything else that's not fretted can be left open. That's the little rhythm there in the E. It's basically just ups and downs with a little bit of a mute in there. And then the second chord is going to be the A major 7. The way that you do that is you want to move your first finger to the 6th string 5th fret. Your second finger will go onto the 4th string 5th fret. And then either your ring or your pinky will go down on the 3rd string 6th fret. So it strums that A. And then he picks up his fingers. He doesn't remove them from the strings, but he'll just... Um, lift them up from actually fretting and use all of his fingers to mute all of the strings and just strum down and up across the strings and that comes together like this So that is the chord progression throughout the entire song until it gets to the chorus where he just just mutes strings as he's singing uh, the chorus and then it goes back to the E minor 7 to the A major 7. The more recognizable part to this song, the way that you're going to execute that first part is that you'll go from the 5th string 5th fret to the 5th string 7th fret you usually probably should hammer that on and then you'll go to the fourth string fifth fret and then back to the fifth string seventh fret so so far we've got and then you'll go back to the fifth string uh, fifth string fifth fret then fourth string fifth fret and then back to the fifth string seventh fret so we've got And then this next part is a little tricky. So you'll hammer on again to the 7th fret, and then you'll go 4th string 5th fret, 5th string 7th fret, 5th string 5th fret. So that goes. The whole thing is coming together, uh, this main riff is. And then after that last, fifth string fifth fret you then will use your ring finger put it on the sixth string seventh fret and then slide up to the ninth fret and then with your first finger put it down on the fifth string seventh fret so that last run will end so from the beginning again it comes together as and then here you can hear a little walk up where they go the way that you do the walk up is going to be the 6th string 7th fret, 6th string 8th fret, 6th string 9th fret. Uh, another little variation that you can hear is you hear it go. As in. The way that you pull off that second lick that the keys play is just like you're ending the original riff. You're going to slide from the 6th string 7th fret to the 9th fret, and then you go with your first finger to the 5th string 7th fret, and then you'll go with your ring finger to the 9th fret, slide up to the 10th fret, and then back to the 7th fret of the 5th string and then end on that walk up again. So that will come together as in. So 
So again, so that you catch that little slide. That's the first way. The second way. So those are the two licks that end that phrase in E minor there. And then it all goes back to the little walk up. Occasionally you may hear the walk up originate on an A note, the sixth string fifth fret, and then it goes. And then sometimes I tend to come down to the sixth string third fret before going back into the E minor. Something like that. And anyway, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to approach this Bill Withers song, Use Me.